This time to the right side. Of Dolph and the Rigby. He's just waiting at something on. And it's shot by Pelletier. Oh, good save. Made by Rigby. It's R I G S B Y. Alex Rigby. 5'7, 155 pounds. And that will just about do it for period of one. What action. And these young ladies have been a treat to watch. They've had the better of play. They've outshot the Blades by the count of 14 to 4. We can win to the first intermission. Deadlocked up one on Hockey TV.
Tony Carsey, Jermaine Arena, Estero, Florida. Special event here today on Hockey TV as the United States Women Olympic Hockey Team is here to play an exhibition before heading to Seoul, South Korea to play in the um, 2018 Winter Olympics. It's not in Seoul, it's in a different town, but it is in South Korea. A couple of the, uh, young ladies I'd like to highlight, obviously the uh, Minnesotans out of Plymouth is Kelly Panic. She plays for the University of Minnesota. Um, the Lemoreau Davidson twins, Jocelyn and Monique, they're out of Grand Forks, North Dakota. Uh, twin sisters, uh, the Lemoreau sisters, they're both married now. Uh, and they both play for the uh, Minnesota Whitecaps. Um, number 14, Brianna Decker. Man, she's been terrific. She's from Wisconsin. She played for the Boston Pride. And uh, she's here to try out for the Olympic Hockey Team. And yeah, they're not going to keep all the athletes they have here today. They have a lot of people dressed. Uh, Haley Skarupa is out of Rockville, Maryland. Amanda Pelkey wears number 37. She's out of Montpelier, Vermont. Gigi Marvin out of War Road, Minnesota, that hockey hopper, right up there on the Canadian border, that small little town that produced so many great hockey players. Hillary Knight, Sun Valley, Idaho, I'm sure she's a good skier. Amanda Kessler from Madison, Wisconsin. Wonderful young athlete. Stacey Bellamy also played with the Boston Pride. She's out of Westfield, Massachusetts. Megan Bozik, number nine, one of their defensemen. She's from Buffalo Grove, Illinois, and she played for the Buffalo Buse. Like that name for a woman's team. Kelly Flanagan, out of Burlington, Mass. Megan Keller, out of Farmington, Michigan. Emily Falzer, P.F. A-L-G-E-R, number eight, a defenseman. Out of Getzville, New York. I'm originally from New York. I've never heard of Getzville. Just outstanding young players. Alex Carpenter, number 25. Kendall Coyne, number 26. That's what we spoke about earlier. How about Megan Dugan? Out of Danvers, Massachusetts. She also plays for the Boston Pride. Boston Pride, New England, obviously, well. Represented. I'd like to get to talk to um, a couple of their coaches. Rob Storber, uh, the head coach, is out of Medina, Minnesota. I know Medina very, very well. Uh, Brett Strott, one of the assistant coaches, is out of uh, Champlain, Minnesota, where I live in Minnesota. My kids went to school in uh, Tampa, Minnesota. Uh, Paul Maris out of Belmont, Massachusetts. Chris Tanner, uh, Chris Tamer is out of Dexter, Michigan. Mike Richter, how about that? Mike Richter, I'm a Ranger fan. I'd like to go see him. He's out of Abington, Pennsylvania. This is the uh, staff, a wonderful staff. The trainer is Sherry Walters. The therapist is Jennifer Chi. The dietician is Gary Aprick. Uh, the equipment manager is Brent Prue from uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. C R O U L X. It's uh, just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful staff. And uh, we're so proud and honored that they have made the trek from their training quarters in uh, the Tampa Bay area to come down here and take on our team, the Florida Junior Blades right here in Estero, Florida. Counting it down, we'll drop the puck on period number two in about 10 minutes. You're watching this special event on Hockey TV as the Florida Junior Blades play host to the 2018 USA Women National Hockey Team. The Olympians, we'll see you there in February.
Northeast Germain Arena in Sparrow, Florida. This hockey special on hockey TV is the Florida Junior Blades play host to the 2018 USA Women's National Team or Olympians that are watching Korea February 2018. Game tied one and one, and the Olympians have outplayed the Blades and outshot the Blades 14 to 4 here after one period of play. In this period, the blades will skate right to left, and the young ladies will skate left to right. I call them young ladies, but our Olympic team is very well, uh, very experienced. Um, and they've got a lot of players, they're going to have to make some tough decisions on who goes to Korea to play in the Olympics and who does not. In other words, they're going to have to make some cuts. They are deep, they are talented, they are experienced, and boy, can they skate! Their skating is really impressive. Taking a draw in the attacking zone is Hannah Branch out of Van Nuys Heights, Minnesota. That's the suburb of St. Paul. And here come the Blades. Blades scored first out of one nothing lead. The ladies have dominated the remainder of the period. And have outshot the Blades now 14-5 as the Blades get the first shot of period. Number two. Glad you with us on Hockey TV on this special Saturday afternoon. And here comes Brant. Brant the attacking zone. Shot goes over the net. She's playing up front with number 11. That is uh, Haley Skarupa. S-K-A-R-U-P-A. On the fence with the front is number 5. That is Megan Scheller out of Farmington, Michigan. She'll send it ahead. Pass across a good opportunity for the Olympians. Again, we just got handed an updated roster. We thank the USA organization for that. Kelly Flanagan is one of the defensemen. Are they defensemen? I guess they're still defensemen. How about defense young ladies? And here she is. Kelly Flanagan. Up front. Is number 12, that's Kelly Panic out of Plymouth, Minnesota. That's where my son lives in Plymouth, Minnesota. 1836, Pelletier tries to get something going for the Blades. They have been outplayed by the Olympians. The Olympians have done a good job. They have the fuck here. Once again, he's one of their leaders. That is number 14, Brianna Decker. Man, she is dynamic. Pretty good odds, I think, that she's going to Korea. She is an outstanding 5'6", 150 pounds, out of Van Nuys Heights, Minnesota. So you know I'm pulling for her. I brought this many a hockey game out of the great state. The hockey state of Minnesota. The Olympians looking to take the lead. That's one of the Lamar U girls on the fence. That was Monique Lamar U Miranda. Remember, they're both married now, the twin sisters. Out of North Dakota, Grand Forks. And they have been on a national team for many years. And they made the drive down. The two of them loaded up a truck and drove from uh, North Dakota to Tampa to get ready for training camp for the Olympics. And we welcome them. They play, both play their hockey now in Minnesota. Shot! Knocked down in front. Good save. Once again, in the net. Is number 33, Alex Rigby. She started the game, she's still in the net. But they might make a change. They just, I believe, three goaltenders. They have three on the roster anyway. Here's Riley Degler. He gets stuck in there. Good job there. Coming back four checkers. That was number 17, that's Jocelyn 
Lamar U. Davidson, her Mary man. Oh, what a great play she did. They are terrific with six steps at taking the puck away. With great stick play. And how they skate. Shot for the point. That was number nine on the fence. That's Megan Bozik. Out of Buffalo Grove, Illinois. She had a big shot. Knocked down in front. And once again, the Olympians keep control of the puck. They are deep. They have a lot of good players. Gigi Marvin out of Warroad, Minnesota, where his number 19 is on the ice. Joining her now on the fence is number 8, that's Emily Stolzer, P-S-A-L-Z-E-R. She'll play the point, along with number 5, that's Megan Keller. How they skate and the constant movement. Wow, what a treat they are to watch. And here come the Olympians once again. In the attacking zone, led by Grant, it's B-R-A-N-D-T. Another Minnesotan. Let's see if the Blades can get something started offensively. They'll make a change on the ice. And the Olympians right away turn around and they're smart. They do come out of their end so well. And the way they circle in their end, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. All the time. I think the Blades could get something started. Number 10 is Megan Dugan. She's M-E-G-H-A-N. D-U-G-G-A-N. Out of Massachusetts. Another great hockey state. And man, they are coming out of their end, circling and moving so tremendously well, so dynamic. And here they come in the attacking zone once again. Shot! Knocked out of front. Rebound! And the ladies try to control it. Good shot there. That was number 12, Panic, from Plymouth, Minnesota. Fans, pack the trilogy here today. We've got standing room only. And it has really been a treat to watch this. Now we got a whistle. And I believe a penalty is being called. No, Puck was just deflected with a high stick. It's not a high stick in penalty. So we'll face off to the left side of goaltender Rigsby. Number 13 on the draw is Tristan Root. One of the new Florida Blades, a local kid. Right here in Fort Myers, Florida, and his birthday's on Tuesday. So happy birthday to Tristan. Here are the Olympians in their own end. Always circling, always moving. Now again, the women play a different game because there's no checking. The men... Oh, he's taking you out with the body. Here, that can't be done. But the women do have an advantage. Lemoyne, good shot. Good save by Rigsby. I like Rigsby's pants. Got the white pants trimmed in red, white, and blue with the stars. Very nice. And here come the Olympians one more time on the attack. Ooh, good opportunity able to drop that shot. Rebound. That was a good opportunity there. And now back on the blades the other way. Riley Degler has a breakaway. He's in shot. The crutches. And a good save made by Rigsby. And you can hear the crowd, especially the women, are really cheering hard for the Olympians. And that's great to see. Wow. Outstanding. And how about the national anthem today? Everybody, and I mean everybody, including little kids, stood with their hands on their hearts and that was great to see. I looked around the whole building as the National Anthem was being played and that was wonderful to see. So the congratulations to the folks here today. Just a tremendous, tremendous event, a tremendous opportunity for the Young Blades to take on the national team. Our nation's national hockey team is here in Estero, Florida. It's just uh, beyond comprehension. And it boggles the mind to think that the United States women's Olympic hockey team is not training in Colorado, or Minnesota, or Wisconsin, or Massachusetts, or New York. But they are training here in Florida. It just shows how far Florida hockey has come. 
The Olympians are always turning around and always on the attack. They never stop moving. They are really a treat to watch. And again, it's a different game. They play that freelance style and they skate. So they know they're not going to get knocked off the puck or knocked against the boards. Just tremendous action to watch. They are a treat to watch. Here's number 11 on the attack. That's Skarupa. She's playing up front with number 20, Anna Brandt, one of their leaders. Backing up, circling. And here's Brandt one more time. Two on two. Anna Brandt throws it in front. A good opportunity. Look in there. That was number 24 trying to finish that two on one. Good opportunity there for the Olympians. They're back again. Shot. Knocked down in front. Good shot there. That was number 12, Shelly Panic. And her shot was knocked down in front. The women just keep coming. Shot. Backhanded shot by Panic. And a good save made by Shaw. Still deadlocked at one. Though the women have had the better of the play. Out shooting the play. 20 to 8. Rebound in front. Ooh. Good opportunity there. That was number 10, Megan Dugan. In front, she's going to keep that one. A throw shot. Oh, good save. Wow. The crowd won that one. What a save by Rigby. That puck was past her. Wow. He talked about a quick left hand. Muhammad Ali didn't have a quick left hand like that. What a great save by Rigby. On Hudson Grove. He thought he had it. Wow. Whistle. I think the uh, net got knocked off expansion. We need a timeout. 11 12 to go. Non stop action. The ladies won. The gentlemen won. You're watching this hockey special as the United States women's hockey team is here in Astero, Florida. They are taking on the Florida Junior Blades. What a treat to watch these ladies play. And here they come on the attack one more time. Play in front, taking a blast by the Blades. As they break down the 2-1-2, two two, and here they come. See the Blades can get some Trombone shot. Knocked down behind the net. Good opportunity there. That was Tristan Roos who got it to Simona. His shot was deflected behind the net and over the board. 10.53 to go second period. The Olympians won. The Blaze won on hockey TV. This building is loud. This building is electric. There is a bus here. And the uh, fans here are really sick cheering on the women, as we are going to be cheering on the women, um, when the Olympics start February 8th in Korea. 10.48, second period. The Blaze have been outshot 20 to 10, but we're still deadlocked. At one and one. The ladies have done a tremendous job against the men coming out of their own end. Oh, there's a collision at center ice. I think number 25 in blue. That was Alex Carpenter. He got bumped a little bit too hurt a little bit. He's got control of the front behind the net. Now throws it back to the point. That's Megan Bosick on defense. Bosick. She'll back in it toward the net. Knocked down in front and covered up. By goal send the fourth. Good job by him. 10-14 to go. Second period. Deadlocked at one on hockey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the attacking zone for the Olympians, right side of fourth. Blades win the draw and out they come. Lamore you. Lamore you trying to get around in the defense. Good job there by number five in blue. That's Megan Keller who knocked Lamore you off the puck. And now we'll see if the Olympians can come out. Nope. Blades do a good job there and play it with Mondor. Here's Lamore you, center ice. He can't control the puck. Take it back by Brandt. 
Pratt, one of the leaders for the Olympians in the attacking zone. She throws it toward the net. And Zach Frost knocks it away. And back in the neutral ice zone we go. Back and forth, up and down. But the ladies have really controlled the play. Ladies have done a tremendous job. And here come the Olympians once again. We are a constant variety of motion. Shot and a good one. Ooh, a good shot there. Taken by Steckline, Lee Steckline, out of Roseville, Minnesota. He plays for the University of Minnesota. A big defenseman, six foot, 170 pounds. She is a big girl. As most of the women in Minnesota are. Believe me, I married one. But I love her to death. 9 away to go here. Second period. What a thrill it is to be here. And I think all the fans here feel the same way. It, it, they know they're witnessing something very, very special. Played there on the fence by Galbraith. Alex Galbraith out of Dallas, Texas. He can't get out, the women get it back. The Olympians are tough at the blue line. But again, they know how to play that stick game where you take the puck away from your opponent with the stick. The men are used to using the body. Here's Galbraith. Galbraith sends it ahead. Let's see if Riley Deggles can get there. No, it's played there on the fence. Good job once again. By Steckline. And again, I still refer to him as the fenceman. Here's Steckline. She is big. Wow. She'll go to the bench. Another Minnesotan. They are whirling and they skate. Unbelievable. Look at the patterns. Always look at the passing lane. Just a great job there. That was Kendall Coyne who set that up. He's from Palo Heights. P-A-L-O-S. Palo Heights. Illinois. And she also plays for the Minnesota Whitecaps. A lot of these ladies go to Minnesota to play their hockey. And now they've all come together to try out for the Olympic team. That will be played in Korea in 2018. In the attacking zone is number 10, Desertel. Zach Desertel, St. Albans, Vermont. Nice to have a New England play in his junior hockey here in Southwest Florida. Here's Maxi, Evan Maxi. Try to get it to Lemoore U, broken up there nicely by the Olympians. And it goes back into the defensive zone for the Blades. And Pelletier has to start him over and does so with Maxi. Maxi knocks it ahead. Maxi turned around and he was surprised to see two Olympians in his face. They are quick. They can really get to the puck. And again, they always have a clear path so they know they're not going to get knocked off. Maxi, terrific player. Evan Maxi. Pelletier, his shot. Looking for a deflection. Good opportunity there by Ruth. Kristen Ruth looks at the deflection as he looks to give the Blades a 2-1 to one lead. The Olympians will start over. And they do so well, so well. Gigi Marvin, a veteran out of War Road, Minnesota. 5'8", 162 pounds. On the ice for the Olympian. Shot! Oh, and a good one there. By Svoboda. And another good save made by Rigsby. Man, she is dynamic with that glove hand. Good action. 6.07 to go. Second period. The ladies are U.S. Olympic hockey team. The gentlemen are Florida Blades. Junior hockey national champions last year. What a matchup. Deadlocked at one. Terrific action. Back and forth. Blades have really stepped up the play here in period number two. Shot. Oh, and a good one. The ladies just set up such a wonderful play. Let's see what the gentlemen can do coming out of their end. 
The boat is just knocks it ahead. He's playing up front with Desatel. The Flames trying to get something going. Terrific second period of play. We haven't seen a goal scored yet, but terrific action. And once again, credit to the Blades. This is a tough game for them. They have a body right there. They want to dock them off the puck like they usually can, but today they can't. It's a tough day having to play under different rules. Shots just went wide. That was number six on the fence, Kelly Flanagan from Burlington, Mass. He's on the fence with the big gal. Number two, once again, that's Lee Speckline out of Roseville, Minnesota. And back come the Olympians. Nice cross ice pass, and they are always looking to get that front moving, and they are always moving. They circle, they skate, get on the attack non stop. Here's Maxi. Maxi, good backhand pass. And the attack is on. Here's Hudson Grote with Zembley up front. Good shot by Grote. Good save. There's Grote. Oh, Grote had a good opportunity. Good set up by Maxi. Grote just couldn't see it up. Well, he might have beat Rigby with that one. Fans are really into it. Shot. Oh, deflected in front. Good shot there from the Olympians. That was number 22 on the fence, Casey Bellamy, out of Westfield, Mass. He cranked it up. Good save made by Thorpe. A lot of face off to his right. With 4 and 4 to go here in period number 2. Kept in there nicely once again on the fence. That's Monique Lamoriu Morade. One of the twin sisters who drove themselves down from North Dakota to Tampa to train for this wonderful event. The 2018 Winter Olympics. Here's Maxi. Evan Maxi throws it ahead. And back come the Blades. Ruth. Here's shot. Oh, good save. Good opportunity there by Desatel on the setup by Ruth. Tristan Roos has had a good game here today. For the Blaze. Shot. Score! And the Blaze now have a 2-1 lead. Let's see who got it. It looks to be Zebley. We'll get the call from downstairs. But TJ Zebley. But the Blades have the lead by a goal. And here come the Olympians. We're going to get back even once again.
job playing by the rules. Desert Tell, he's had a good afternoon wearing number 10 in gray today for the Blazers. His shot goes wide, and the Olympians come out of their own end. Here's Brant again. She'll throw it ahead onside. Good play. Yeah, look at that. Score! What a shot! That was number 37, Amanda Pelkey from Montpelier. Vermont. Oh, what a great setup once again by one of their leaders, Hannah Brandt. That long pass, they've been looking to do that. They straddle the blue line and they receive the pass on the blue line. And that time they finished. What a great shot by Pelkey. And the Olympians do get even here in the second period as Pelkey beats goaltender Frost. Two to two in a tremendous, tremendous hockey game. And what an event and what atmosphere here. The crowd is really into it. We have a packed, packed arena. This place is just jam-packed. Everybody's standing wherever they can find room to stand. Hudson Grove on the draw. And here's Pelkey. into a 3-2 lead. They are dynamic. They could strike that suddenly. And how they skate. This is the speed game that the women play, let's face it. It's not a physical game, obviously. There is no checking. They really, they stick check very well though. The Olympians. Here they come, coming out of their own end again. Shot and a good, oh, and a good save. Wow, they almost got another one. That was Brianna Decker, who's one of their offensive leaders. She got a great shot and a great save. Rebound, score! The Olympians have now got three goals here in about the last minute and a half. It looks to be number 21. That's Hillary Knight out of Sun Valley, Idaho. And Idaho is not one of their players. That's the state she comes from. It's 4-2 for the Olympians. They've got three goals here in the last minute and change. They are electric. They are electric. I said many times throughout the telecast, they are just fun to watch. Shot by Swoboda. It was Hillary Knight with the goal. Play in front again, another shot, a great save. This time by Frost. Wow, that was nearly another one for the ladies. That was uh, number seven. One of their defensemen, Monique. Lamoriu Miranda, one of the twin sisters on the team from North Dakota. What a great shot, what a great save by Frost. That might have been the nail in the corporate. You don't want to go into the third period down three goals. But remember, the Blades have a lot of good offensive talent also. They've been outshot here 2-1 to one today, 34-17. to 17. But they've still got some good offensive talent. They come back in the third period. They need to get out of this period though as the Olympians have really come alive here in about the last three, three and a half minutes of period number two. It's just been a treat to watch them play. Well, these are the best women's hockey player in America. These are the best women's hockey player in the country. And they have come in to Estero, Florida and done a wonderful job here today. Not a good play there by Rigsby though. That one she could have just got rid of at the end of the period. Now she'll have to face a face off to her left side. Five and a half seconds to go. Second period. It's been all the women here in the last three minutes. The Olympians lead the Blades by the count of four to 
to. So let's see if the guys can get up a good shot here in the last six seconds. Maxi will take the face off. Hudson Grow, Sniper on his right. No, the women win the draw. And the Olympians will go to the locker room for the second intermission with a four to two lead. Wow. The guys had a two to one lead, but the ladies came back with three late goals to take a two goal lead into the second intermission. It's been a treat watching our Olympians. We're gonna be proud to root them on in Korea in February. But today they're here in Estero, Florida. We're back with the second intermission. We'll drop the puck in about 15 minutes for the third period. You're watching this hockey special on Hockey TV. It's the United States Women's Olympic Hockey Team and your Florida Junior Blades. They are dynamic. I know they play a different game when you can't hit them. But they have the speed. Isn't that amazing how they soak? And they're always moving. Even when they don't have the puck, even when they're not what they just want to get the puck. They are moving and soaking.
Carson back at your main arena. It's Cerro, Florida. Ready to drop the puck on the third and final period here this afternoon. What has been a treasure of an afternoon as the Florida Junior Boys play host to the 2018 Women's USA Olympic Hockey Team. And these women carry a 4-2 lead into the third period. And they are so dynamic, so incredibly gifted. How they shape, they are like the 1972 Russian Red Army team. Remember that team, the great skaters, Karl Amor, Petrov, Mikhailov, that great number one line they had. Maybe the greatest hockey line in the history of hockey. Karl Amor, Petrov, and Mikhailov. That was their number one, and they sat and they just skated, and they just took the Canadians and the Americans apart back then. It was the way they played the game, and that's why you see so many Eastern European players now and Russian players um, in the NHL and playing North America. That team started it all. The Russian Red Army hockey team, and we hated them. I mean, they were a bunch of communists. We were still fighting the Cold War in the early 70s but that was the greatest skating team that ever played hockey and this team these wonderful young women athletes remind me of that team the way they circle in their end and their passing and their movement how they move the puck and how they pass the puck it's just outstanding. Degler shot. Oh, first good opportunity here in period number three. And it was the Blades that got it off. Remember, the Blades have dynamic young athletes as well. So they can get right back into soccer here. They had a two to one lead with three and a half minutes to go in period number two when the Olympians exploded with three late goals. 18.54 to go, third period. You are watching a special exhibition hockey game here today as the Florida Junior plays the national champions last year in junior hockey take on the 2018 USA Women's Olympic Hockey Team. And we're so glad you're with us here on Hockey TV. I know this is, a, this is just a thrill for me to be bringing you this game this afternoon. One of the goal scorers is Amanda Pelkey. She has the puck. She comes down the left side. She wears 37. Looking for her second goal of the game. Looks for the far side. She shot it wide. And the puck goes all the way down into the Olympian end. The Olympians coming out with Lee Steckline. Six foot. 170 pounds. She is by far the tallest young lady, the youngest athlete on the Olympian team. And of course she's from Minnesota. The women are big in Minnesota, those Scandinavians. Here they come again, shot, and a good one. That was number uh, 21, that's uh, Hillary Knight. She has one of the goals here today. She's going up a good shot. There's such a growth back the other way. His shot, good save, made by Rigby. Rigby moves like a pro. She's got, she is amazing in that, that she has the actions in the body language and the movement of an NHL goaltender. I was talking to some of our athletes on the, blade, the uh, blades in between periods and they are so impressed by the women. Not only their speed, but how they keep the puck on their stick. Shot the puck in the front. Oh, the more you just cleared it out. Well, that could have been goal number five for the Olympians. Seventeen minutes to go. Here in the third period, the Olympians lead the blades by the count of four to two. Blades need to get this next goal. You don't want to get down by three. There's a good shot. 
The punch in front will nearly win in. Good opportunity there. That was Everett Taylor out of Fort Myers. Local kid, born on Halloween. He got up a good shot, but once again, Rigsby made the save. Here come the Olympians once again. Always skating, always on the attack. The Blade players were so impressed by their speed. They couldn't believe how fast they are and how hard it is to get them off the puck. Promoter. His shot knocked out in front and back of the Olympians the other way. Defense to offense. Wow, are they quick. And they're always onside. It looks like they're going to be onside. But yet somehow they straddle the line and they stay onside. Fifteen forty-nine, third period. Olympians have the lead. Another count of four to two. Back to get it on the fence. That's number five. That's Megan Keller, and she has logged a lot of ice time. She's one of the leaders on defense. I'm going to ask the ladies in the locker room if I should still call them defensemen. We have a timeout. The Olympians have outshot the Blades 39-23. They have a 4-2 lead as we play period number three here at the Jermaine Arena in Estero, Florida. It's been a wonderful game. The building is packed. The attendance stretches from one end of the ice to the other. We have standing room only behind both cages. The building cannot hold the crowd. It's just wonderful. See, here's T.J. Zebley. He's got one of the goals here today. Zebley and Pelletier are the two goal scorers today. For the Blades, dressed in gray today, trimmed in blue with green bridges. The ladies look wonderful. I love the uniforms. Blue jerseys, blue bridges, blue leggings, white hats, and the red gloves. Classy. I mean, they look fantastic. Counting it down, 14-12 to go, third period. The Olympians have a two-goal lead at 4-2. to two. And the Blades are right in there with them. They've been outshot now, 39-25, but they've also had some chances. And boy, I am really impressed by their goaltender. Alex Rigby. Out of Delafield, Wisconsin, who plays for the Minnesota Whitecaps. She moves her body language, her actions, her movement. They're like an NHL goalie. She just looks like a pro. So solid, so confident, and then incredible glove game. Shot! Oh, knocked down in front. Good opportunity there. 
by Bozik, Mason Bozik. Out of Buffalo Grove, Illinois, got up a great shot from the point, and it was almost through. Here's one more, you. Number 22 for the Blades. Number 13 in the attacking zone is Tristan Ruth. He's had a terrific afternoon here today. He's got an assist, and his birthday's on Tuesday, so once again, we wish Tristan Ruth a happy birthday. 13 20 to go, third period. Blades need to get one to get back in the hockey game. They trail 4 to 2 on hockey TV. Into the attacking zone. Here come the Olympians one more time. Oh, shot just went right. Good chance there for the Olympians as they look to build on a two goal lead. They are so good going defense over. They're in the attacking zone again. Rebound, score! They kept fighting, they kept battling. And they keep attacking, attacking, attacking. Wow, five to two lead for the Olympians. And Frost has played really well in that. They've used to 42 shots. And it's just a... They're going to be fun to watch in the Olympics. I'm going to make sure I watch all their games. I remember, that's going to be on the NBC family of networks. MSNBC, CNBC, um, NBC Sportsnet, and of course Channel 2 here locally in Southwest Florida. Now that's the NBC station here in Naples and Fort Myers. And they're going to get a lot of coverage and they're going to be fun to watch. The 2018 USA Women's Olympic hockey team and what a treat to have them here in Southwest Florida here today. They have a three goal lead with 12 minutes and 8 seconds to go here in period number three. And I'm going to go see them after the game and congratulate them and first of all welcome them to Southwest Florida. Shot score! And the Blades are right back in it. It's Lemoryu, Matt Lemoryu with the goal. He just threw it out in front with the flexor of Solon Skate and it's stuck behind Rigby and right back in the hockey game with 12 minutes to go are the junior plays they trail it 5 to 3. Kendall Coyne, left wing out of Illinois. Center is Santa Branch. And the right wing is Knight. That's Hillary Knight. The line for the Olympians as they try to answer that nice goal by Lemoria. Five to three, and the Blades have to start feeling good about themselves. They're right back in his hockey game. And the crowd support is just tremendous. So Lemoria gets the goal. And then right back in his shot, knocked down his truck. I think the referee was going to blow his whistle there. He did not. He let the uh, athlete play. Shot! Oh, nice shot. Big slap. Of, well, what a cannon. That was number 22, Casey Bellamy. Out of Westfield, Mass. What a blast. Not a good save made by Frost. That's the hardest shot we've seen by the, uh, in the game today from the point. Men or women. Shot! Oh, that just went hard. Good opportunity once again from the ladies. They come at you in waves. They are deep. 
they are talented, they are experienced, and the greatest quality, they are relentless. And here they come once again. Jocelyn Laborie Davidson, one of the twins from North Dakota. That sister is one of the defensemen, Monique Lamoreau Miranda from Grand Forks. They both play for the Minnesota Whitecaps. 10.38 to go, third period. We've got a hockey game at 5-3. to three. The Flames are right back in it. Sure, they're feeling good about themselves now. They've been outplayed, but they're right there. Oh, there's a good shot. Six save, made by Frost. He saw it late, but he got the right leg out. Great shot by Falzer. Emily Falzer, P-F-A-L-Z-E-R, out of Getsville, New York. She plays for the Buffalo Buttes. B-U-E-T-S, the Buttes. I like that. In the attacking zone, behind the net, once again, are the Olympians. Play comes back on the point, once again, it's that leading defenseman, Megan Kelly. Who may, uh, Megan Keller, I'm sorry, Keller, K-E-L-L-E-R. She throws it by the net, and back on the play the other day. A good play there by Keller, breaking up the long pass, and it's turned over to the Olympians. Great to have the Olympic hockey team here in Southwest Florida. Deadly offside. Maxie couldn't get out. Ten minutes exactly to go. Third period. Blades need two to get even. They trail five to three. I don't know how the Olympians are going to cut this roster down. And I'll come to the Olympic team one more time. Number 37, that right-handed shot for a left wing. She is dynamic. That's Amanda Pelkey. She is non-stop. She's got one of the goals today. Look at her fly. Offensively and defensively, she is perpetual motion. And back come the blades the other way. Led by number 14, that's Ethan Panic. Wisconsin made him. In the attacking zone, Lamoya up front, along with number 13, Tristan Reese. Ben Jacoby on defense, along with Pelletier. As the plays look to get closer, Zach Desertel, number 10, with the front, he joins the fray and sends it ahead. See if the Olympians can come out. They have been wonderful. Here today, are coming out of their own end and going defense to offense. <clears throat> They're coming led by Kendall Coyne, another player from the Whitecaps. The Whitecaps must have a really good team. In front, oh, what a play shot! Just wide. What a beautiful setup there once again. By Decker. Out of Wisconsin. She has been tremendous. She plays for the Boston Prize. Also well represented on this roster here this afternoon. And again, I don't envy these coaches. They got a whistle and a penalty. Let's see who's it against. It's going to be against the Blades. We'll see if the Olympians can come out of the net. They send their goaltender out of the net. Let's see if they can make a play in the attack. But look at that pass. In the attacking zone, they come one more time. The late penalty called. And now the Blades touch it up with Mondor. They fly. They literally fly. That rush is led by Jocelyn Lamoreau Davidson. She had a good opportunity. The Blades are going to have to kill this penalty. We're counting down to 7.39 to go in the third period, and they're down by two goals. We're going to wrap the telecast up quick today. I'm going to go into the locker room and welcome the Olympic hockey team here to Southwest Florida and, and thank them for coming uh, to our small little hockey community. Shot! Score! 
What a shot! Jocelyn Lamar Hughes Davidson with a blast from the point. It's a power play goal for the Olympians. And they now lead it by the count of 6-3. to three. They've outshot the Blades 48-28. to 28. They have six of the nine goals. They have a three-goal lead. They are the 2018 United States Women's Olympic Hockey Team. Can't wait to see them in Korea. Good shot there. Once again, number 20, Hannah Brandt, one of their offensive leaders. I think she's a sure bet to make the team. She has logged a lot of ice time. She's one of their leaders offensively. They've got two terrific center icemen in Hannah Brandt and Brianna Decker centering their top two lines. They both logged a lot of ice time. They're both really, really talented, dynamic, and explosive. That's the best term I can use. They are explosive. They are dynamic. And they are just wonderful. And they impressed a lot of players. And once again, I don't envy the coaches who's going to have to make cuts and tell some of these wonderful athletes that they are not going to Korea, South Korea, obviously, to play in the Olympics. We're inside six and a half minutes to go, third period. Both teams have scored a goal here in the third period. And the Olympians have their three goal lead back at six to three. Hudson Grote, he's played well, he always played well. Zebley. That's one of the goals today. He always plays well. It's been Zebley, Lemoyer, and Pelletier who have scored for the Blades. But they still trail by three. They're going to have to get one back here quick if they're to get back in this hockey game. But the Olympians always seem to have the puck. Good shot there once again. He is an impressive smallish type player. That is Amanda Pelkey. She's 5'3", 130 pounds out of Vermont. And she is just a bundle of non-stop energy. His nice shot! Oh! Just deflected wide with a glove hand by goaltender Frost. Knight looking for her second goal again. Going for the far post and she just missed on a good save made by Frost. They have unleashed some great shots. They just always have the puck. It's like they're always on the power play. Play in front, deflected right to front, and he kicks it aside. Good opportunity once again. He is knighted again. Shot. Save. Rebound. Score. It's Knight once again. Her second. Hillary Knight. She's been relentless. She wears number 21. She likes that right, the left side, with the right-handed shot. 4.50 to go, third period. It's now 7-3 for the young ladies of the Olympic hockey team. I'm running out of adjectives. Dynamic. Dynamite. Knight's got two of the seven goals for the Olympians. Look at that save. She looks like a pro goalie. <laughs> I mean, an NHL type goalie. Her style, her movements, her body language, her control. Alex Rigsby. R-I-G-S-B-Y. Alex Rigsby out of Delafield, Wisconsin. She has got the look of a goalie. The way she makes her, the way she moves, the way she stands, the way she positions herself. Outstanding. Yeah. 
Here's Riley Degler on the right side for the blade. Degler in the attacking zone. He's got help with Swoboda. Also up front is the one that's Ben Jacobi. Jacobi wears number 21. He's from Leland, Michigan. Trying to get one goal back here. They trail now by four. Their biggest deficit of the hockey game. Well, these women are going to play such big games in the Olympics. They might not remember all their exhibitions that got them over to South Korea. But I'll tell you one thing, the Florida Junior Blades, they're never going to forget this. Give away. Oh, there's a penalty coming up. No. But it was a trip. Good opportunity there. That was number 20. Hannah Brandt with an opportunity. Lost an edge. And back they come again. Here are the Olympians. Let's count it down inside three minutes. This has been a treasure to broadcast this hockey game, to do the play-by-play -play of this incredible event. To see these wonderful young athletes, men and women, do battle here in Estero, Florida. And who could have ever comprehended that a United States Olympic hockey team, men or women, would be training and preparing for the Olympics in the state of Florida. This is not Colorado, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Massachusetts. We are training our Olympic hockey team before they go to the Olympics here in Florida. Two minutes to go, third period. And the United States women, Olympic hockey team, have a four goal lead. You know, we watch them up here from the broadcast booth, how fast they are, how well they pass, and how impressive they are. I talk to the Blades athletes between periods two and three. They're amazed at how fast they were and how, pass, how they passed the puck. There's a whistle on the trip. This will go on goal breath number seven. So the Olympians go back on the power play for the next one minute and 38 seconds. Unless, of course, they score. And Galbraith would come back out. I want to thank the fans, both on TV and here at the arena. This place is packed. You cannot move in this arena, even behind the two nets. So it's another power play opportunity for the Olympians. Here's Hannah Brandt. She is dynamic. Night up front. She's got two goals. Looking for the hat trick. Comes back on the point. To Monique Lamoreau Ferrando. She's already got a goal. A power play goal with a slap shot from the left point. She's got it again. Brandt, love the goal line, they throw it down, oh, great play, once again by Knight, setting up Kendall Coyne, and she fanned on her, she would have had one. They're passing, they're playmaking, they're like the Harlem Globetrotters. That time, uh, Lemoryu Miranda lost her edge, but she kept the puck in. That is Monique Lemoryu Miranda. Adam Grant for North Dakota. She'll go to the bench. She'll change a couple of their players. On the power play. And why not? They've got everything working. This is the sister, Jocelyn Lamore U. Davidson. The two girls drove down from North Dakota. And here she is, trying to get a slap shot into the net like her sister. And we have a whistle. I think they knocked the uh, net off the stanchions and they got a whistle and the crowd was not happy. 
They had a good play work into the lady. We're down to seven seconds to go. In the hockey game, and what a wonderful game it has been. I want to thank everybody at Hockey TV. I want to thank everybody watching across the network. It's been a pleasure to bring you this wonderful event. And that'll do it. The final score here in Estero, the U.S. Women's Olympic Hockey Team 7. And the Florida Junior Blades 3. I want to thank everybody at Hockey TV. Thank everybody for watching this afternoon. We are back Friday night as the Blades take on the Tampa Bay Juniors. We thank everybody for watching. Enjoy your Saturday evening. Enjoy your football Sunday. We're back with you Friday night. You've been watching Florida Blades Hockey on Hockey TV. Good afternoon, everybody. We'll leave you with a chance from the fans of USA. Good afternoon. What a treat. That was a lot of fun. Well, hopefully the equipment will work better Friday night. Yeah.